What's up everyone, Kate is here and today we will go over the major updates and features of the JetFarm Builder 1.3 version. Let's start our updates journey with the really cool functionality that has been added to JetFarm Builder plugin form patterns. This feature can be used when creating a new form on your website and can be found right here. Click on the plus icon, choose patterns tab, select jet forms option from the list and there you go. We've created six different layouts that will help you to speed up the process of building a form. But guys, please keep in mind that these are not presets. Just think of it as form layouts that can and need to be customized to function properly. They do inherit the style of your website theme, but if you use Jet Style Manager, for example, you can style these little buddies to your desire. As of now, we have the following patterns. Contact us form, login and register, application form, subscribe form, profile form, and booking form. You can insert any one of them either by clicking on it or by dragging and dropping it to the canvas. On the right hand side, just as before, you'll have to set up the form settings as well as the post submit actions. And here we come to another tiny little feature that you might find handy. Fields Layout Preview Now you can not only choose the type of form fields layout, but also see the changes here at the back end. Ok, now another really cool thing that has been added to all form fields is form field label and description in line editing. How does it work? Well, pretty simple. Right here we have a text field block. Previously we could add it its settings such as field label, form field name and field description only here in the block settings panel. From now on we can do it not only here, but also right here, straight in the field block itself. And what's even cooler is that if the form field name is empty, then it will auto-complete the name attribute based on the field label, which is a good time saver. Also, we can edit the form field name right here if needed and copy it in just one click. Super handy! And guys, these features are applied to all field blocks media and checkbox, radio and number, hidden and repeater, even to the buttons too, such as form break field or submit field. Just click right here and change the label to your liking. Oh, and by the way, hidden field has also been updated a bit. Now it automatically applies the field name based on the field value chosen. Like this. Pretty nice, right? As for some other pretty neat features, a new generator function has been added to checkbox, select and radio fields. Number range by manual input. This one is really nice to use if you have multiple options to select, let's say in a range from 1 to 10, but you don't want to enter each one of these manually. Another block that hasn't been left without attention is Calculate field. We've added two tiny but pretty needed options, such as decimals and thousands separators. Now you have an opportunity to choose what these symbols should look like. Also, I've got some good news for those of you who like to build complex forms in conjunction with JetStyle Manager plugin. If you are the one who likes to use conditional block in the forms, now you have an opportunity to style it to your liking. Just click on the paintbrush and dive into your creativity. 
Ok guys, apart from updating the already existing blocks, we decided to please you with another brand new block, Color Picker Field. It's pretty intuitive and very easy to use, so don't hesitate to make your forms even more functional. And last but not the least, from now on our JetForm Builder Pro users are welcome to extend their forms functionality with three new add-ons that can be found in your dashboard. Don't forget to click on Check for Updates button to see new options. Advanced Color Picker add-on will give you the opportunity to add opacity and save color values users have chosen in HEX or RGB format. User Login Action add-on will add a new post-submit action that will allow users to log in by the provided email, login, and password. And WooCommerce Card and Checkout action will integrate forms with WooCommerce Checkout. Stay tuned for more detailed tutorials on these topics. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it was useful and informative for your new projects. If you still have any questions left, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop them right in the comments below this video or contact our support team so they could assist you. Have a lovely day and take care.